the unique aspect is its focus. It's exclusively about treatment of left atrial appendage. Uh, people are coming from all over the world, uh, different countries, uh, different backgrounds. We have a good mixture of uh, interventional cardiologists but also electrophysiologists. Uh. Well, I'm a neurologist and I was not involved in this meeting in the past. <clears throat> so when I looked through the program, it became immediately aware that I could learn a lot. The images. Uh, you see a good ceiling of the entrance of the left atrial appendage. Oh, this is fantastic. I think uh, I've been here last year. Uh, there is a definite increment in the number of people that have shown interest in coming here. Very unique in that there's a lot of experts who attended uh, this meeting as well. Um, there's a lot of um, knowledge uh, being shared uh, and good interaction in a fashion that is not intimidating and uh, very collegial, I would say. It brings people together. Uh, like a big family. Well, this is, I think, the biggest and it brings together all the experts. I think this is a, a perfect uh, amalgamation of talents between interventional cardiology, electrophysiology, cardiothoracic surgery, neurology. What I've learned is that there is still a long way to go. The procedure has been around for 14 years now and uh, it still has not reached the place that it deserved. I've learned a lot as a neurologist. This is a, a very much um, cardiology targeted audience and so I'm learning a lot of the, the details um, uh, you know, within the cardiac anatomy. There is a big debate which I think is good, it's stimulating and it shows that uh, the community is, uh, is uh, still kind of evolving at this point. I think all interventionists, all um, proceduralists, I should say, who are involved with left atrial appendage closure certainly should try and attend this. And imaging folks as well who are involved in the procedure should, should attend this meeting. And the main focus are those who perform the procedure, the operators and the imagers, and those who select patients for this procedure. I think these two groups are the most important people.